Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 3, question number 8. The question says the graph below shows the equilibrium vapor pressure of water in millimeters of mercury. Millimeters of mercury is how you measure vapor pressure of water, uh, measured at different temperatures in degrees Celsius. The question says if equilibrium vapor pressure decreases from 525 millimeters of mercury to 300 millimeters of mercury, how many degrees Celsius does the temperature decrease? It's a really wordy problem. It looks super complicated. It's absolutely not. We just have to pay specific attention to the question. The question says if I go from 525 down to 300 millimeters of mercury. So I need to figure out where on the graph that's represented. Here's my milliliters, millimeters of mercury, not milliliters. So I need to figure out where 525 is to make a little dot. So somewhere probably right around in here. And then I'm going to look at where 300 is. So somewhere right around in here, maybe. Now I have my two spots. The best thing about this question is the actual question itself at the end. How many degrees Celsius does the temperature decrease? Those are the two key points here. The first uh, part of it would be, OK, there's a decrease. So I only need to show how far apart the two points are. So I'm not looking for a specific value. I'm looking for uh, the difference of the two values. And on the other side of it, I'm looking for temperature measurement. So I'm going to draw lines straight down from these points because temperatures are represented by this axis. So I have a 90 and a 75-ish area. So I'm going to say this one's 90 and this one is 75. If I'm going to do my subtraction, I end up with 15, which is my final answer. Where do the other answers come from? The first uh, B is the value of the temperature when it's at 33 millimeters of mercury. So it matches it. They want you to try to jump at that one because, OK, now I'm here, so it matches to this. This one is the first. This matches to 525. That's where the 90 comes from. The 225 is a little bit uh, of a weird number unless you think, OK, well, some people might not think about adjusting for temperature. So they just did the subtraction here and got 225 and then just wrote degrees Celsius. Make sure you look at both axes on this one. You'll be fine. It's not a difficult problem. They're just trying to trick you.